Now a great question to ask is, is there a situation where a region within the XY plane is neither type 1 nor type 2? Well the answer is yes, because I mean I have written here what is something that could be neither of those things. I want to consider for a moment the region x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 25. <clears throat> Now for less than or equal to 25, we would be talking about a circle. Well, not really a circle, the interior of the circle. I guess this would be better known as a disk. Also, that was not a really good circle, but I hope that you all will forgive me. If we wanted to consider this region as being type one, we technically could. From top to bottom, this thing is bounded above by the upper half of the circle and below by the bottom half of the circle. Solving for y would give us the negative square root of 25 minus x squared all the way up to the positive square root of 25 minus x squared. Then x would go from extreme point to extreme point, which would be from negative 5 to positive 5. If we wanted to go type 2 with this region, we could certainly do that as well. But then we'd be going side to side, and we would start this off by solving for x. Well, x is bounded on the left by the left half of the circle, so that'd be the negative square root of 25 minus y squared, and the right would be the positive square root of 25 minus y squared. y would then go from a constant to a constant, which, similar to the other one, would be from negative 5 to positive 5. Now what if I told you that this thing up here that looks like a disk, a circle plus its interior, is not actually a disk, but rather this is a rectangle. Now I imagine there are probably some questions about that, like isn't a rectangle supposed to be comprised of four sides that are all you know perpendicular to each other and two pairs of them are are uh, parallel? Like how on earth could that possibly be a rectangle? Well the idea behind a rectangle is that you allow x to be in between two constants and you allow y to be in between two constants. This was the way that we defined a rectangular region back a couple sections ago. Well, what I'm gonna let you know is that we're gonna introduce what is known as a polar rectangle. In polar coordinates, we're not dealing with x's and y's, we're dealing with r's and thetas. So let's say that r is between something like a and b and then theta is between something like alpha and beta. So what a polar rectangle would look like in the xy plane would be the following. Now these are supposed to be circular in nature, I'm just not a powerful drawer. So we'll say that this is r equals b and this is r equals a. And we have two angles as well. We'll say that this is theta is equal to alpha. We'll say that this is theta is equal to beta. So the polar rectangle in question would be this region right here. Now, if you want to get technical, these are technically at right angles to one another. Therefore, this thing is comprised of four right angles and two sets of sides that are not going to intersect each other within this polar rectangle. So technically, this could be considered a rectangle from the perspective of r and theta. Now, how does that pertain to what we talked about back at the beginning of the problem? Well, if a region is circular in nature, that means that we could define the pole to be the inner bound and this circle to be the outer bound. So as a polar rectangle, we could consider this disk to be comprised of the following. R can be defined as being between 0 and 5, the radius of the disk, and then theta can just be one full rotation about the coordinate plane. Now typically we would say 0 to 2 pi, but you could also say you know, negative pi all the way up to positive pi. The possibilities are endless. The idea is polar regions are ones that tend to be more circular. Now you let me know which one appears more fun to do in terms of setting up an iterated integral. A type 1 region, a type 2 region, or a polar rectangle region. Me personally, I'm gonna go with the polar rectangle on this one.